एक्सरसाइज 2.2 क्वेश्चन नंबर 3 फर्स्ट पार्ट p of x is equal to 3x plus 1 where x is equal to minus 1 by 3 we have to verify that whether they are the zeros of the polynomial or not so put here in place of x minus 1 by 3 so what you get if you put here minus 1 by 3 so this is your first term this is your second term 3 and 3 got cancelled you are with minus 1 plus 1 it is 0 so we will say therefore minus 1 by 3 is the 0 of the polynomial ex next part is second part you are given p of x is equal to 5x minus pi so we will write here p of x is equal to 5x minus pi where x is 4 upon 5 so put here 4 by 5 in place of x so 5 into 4 upon 5 minus 5 5 and 5 got cancelled 4 minus 5 so it is not equal to 0 now substitute the value of 5 just we have to verify that whether it is the 0 of the polynomial or not so your answer is not 0 so we will say 4 by 5 is not the 0 of px to get third part x square minus 1 and your x is 1 and minus 1 third part it is 1 and minus 1 we have to verify that whether they are the zeros of the polynomial or not so put here p of 1 put here 1 1 square minus 1 so your answer is 0 put here minus 1 in place of x so minus 1 square is 1 minus 1 your answer is again 0 so we can say 1 and minus 1 are zeros of p of x now the fourth part is p of x is x plus 1 into x minus 2 where x is equal to minus 1 and 2 this is the fourth part so we have to find p of minus 1 so put here minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 2 so it is 0 into minus 3 your answer is 0 so it means this is a 0 of the polynomial so right this is a 0 of the polynomial now for this put 2 in place of x put here 2 2 minus 2 is 0 0 into something 0 so it means again your answer is 0 so we can say they are the zeros of the polynomial zeros of px now the fifth part is x square fifth part is x square we have verified for x is equal to 0 so find out p of 0 put here 0 0 square is 0 so yes 0 can be the 0 of the polynomial I have told you earlier also so 0 is the 0 of that is the root for the polynomial equation now 0 is the 0 of the polynomial yes. for 6th part p of x is equal to lx plus m and x is minus m by l put x in place of x minus m by l l into minus m upon l put here minus m upon l plus m l and l got cancelled we are having minus m plus m so it is 0 it means that this is the 0 of the polynomial minus m by l is 0 of this polynomial px come to 7th part now it is 3x p of x is 3x square minus 1 for x is equal to minus 1 by root 3 and 2 by root 3 now put p of minus 1 by root 3 so 3 into minus 1 by root 3 whole square minus 1 it is 3 into minus 1 square is 1 root 3 square is 3 so this is your first term this is your second term 3 and 3 got cancelled so your answer is 0 so we will say minus 1 by root 3 is 0 of px 
Now uh, we have to verify for 2 by root 3 also. So put here 2 by root 3. 2 upon root 3. 3 into 2 upon root 3. 4 square minus 1. 2 square 4. Root 3 square 3. 3 into 4 by 3 minus 1. So your answer is not 0. It means this is not the 0 of polynomial. Not 0 of the polynomial. Now the last part of this question. 2x plus 1. Do it yourself. Come to question number 4. Find the zeros of the polynomial in each case. The fourth question. First part. P of x is equal to x plus 1. For finding the zero of the polynomial, you have to equate it to zero. So put px equal to zero. What do you get? x plus 5 equal to zero. x is minus 5. So it means minus 5 is the zero of the polynomial. You can verify it. How would you verify? It's not required. But I am telling you that we can verify. Verification. Verification we will do. It is put here minus 5. Because we are saying that this is the zero of the polynomial, we have found it by just putting p of x equal to zero. You can get the zero of the polynomial. Now I am verifying it that whether it is the zero of the polynomial. Put here minus five. Your answer is zero. Means it is the zero of the polynomial. This is not asked by you. You have to just find the zero of the polynomial. So this much is the answer. Look at second part now. P of x is given to you. The second part x minus 5. It is x minus 5. Put p of x equal to 0. Remember for finding 0 of the polynomial, put p of x equal to 0. So x minus 5 equal to 0. x is equal to 5. So this is the 0 of the polynomial. 0 of p of x. Now, go. Now the third part is p of x is equal to 2x plus 5. Find the 0 of the polynomial. How could you find? Put p of x equal to 0. So 2x plus 5 equal to 0. 2x is equal to, take it to that side, minus 5. So you get x is minus 5 by 2. So this is the 0 of polynomial. You can verify it. How? By putting x is equal to minus 5 by 2 in the given polynomial. Your answer should be 0. If it is 0, then we will say that yes, it is the 0 of the polynomial. Come to fourth part now. It is 3x minus 2. The step will be same. 3x minus 2. 3x minus 2 equal to 0. 3x is equal to 2. Minus 2 will go to that side. It becomes plus 2. So x is equal to 2 by 3 is the 0 of polynomial. Now fifth part p of x is 3x. So put 3x equal to 0. So your answer is 0. 0 upon 3 is 0. So it means 0 is the 0 of the polynomial. So it is the solution of this polynomial. So when you put here 3 into 0, your answer becomes 0. So it means this is the 0 of the polynomial. This is the verification part, which is not required. Now the fourth part is p of x is equal to ax. p of x is equal to ax. Put p x equal to 0, a of x equal to 0, a of means a into x. So your x is 0 by a, it is 0, so it is the 0 of the polynomial. So it is the number, it is the value which satisfies in the given polynomial making it 0. So it is the 0 of the polynomial. Now the last part cx plus d. cx plus d is part number 5s. It is part number 7. This was 6th. Now it is 7th one. Cx plus d. Put Cx plus d equal to 0. What do you get? C of x plus d will go to that side. x is minus d upon c. So this is the 0 of the polynomial. This is a number which is satisfying in this polynomial and makes your answer 0. That is p of minus d by c. You can check it. Put here minus d by c. This is your first term. Plus d. c and c got cancelled. Minus d plus d. So your answer is 0. So it means it is a 0 of the polynomial. This is a verification part. 
Now, now we'll study about remainder theorem. That is our next topic about the after the uh, zeros of the polynomial. So remainder theorem is its statement is like this. So well, first we'll write the statement. Let p x be a polynomial. Be a polynomial of degree greater than equal to one. Of degree greater than or equal to one, and a be any real number. A be any real number. If p x is divided by if p x is divided by the linear polynomial. Linear polynomial x minus a comma then the remainder is p of a. remainder is p of a. So this is a statement which you have to remember that what it says I will tell you that p x be a polynomial of degree greater than or equal to one. So we are taking p x as a dividend. Whose degree is greater than or equal to one? It means it is not a linear polynomial. It may be quadratic. It may be a cubic. It may be biquadratic polynomial. It is your dividend. And a be any real number. A is any real number. It can be rational or irrational number. If this p x, this dividend is divided by the linear polynomial whose degree is one. If the dividend is divided by a divisor which is a linear polynomial, let it be x minus a. Then remainder theorem says then the remainder will be p of a. So we'll understand what it says with a an example also. So you have to remember the statement. Same language should be there. Let p x be a polynomial whose degree is its degree is greater than or equal to one, and it is divided by a linear polynomial x minus a. So this is your dividend. This is your divisor. Now the remainder will be x minus p of a. So the remainder will be p of a. It means when you equate it to zero, you will get the zero of the polynomial x is equal to a. Now put x is equal to a here in this polynomial. So p of a. You will get p of a. Here you will put the value of x as a from this polynomial. So your remainder will be p of a. You will be much uh, more clear with an example. Let me take an example also. So, firstly, the example is find the remainder when p of x is divided by p of x is given to you x power four plus x cube minus two x square plus x plus one. When it is divided by the linear polynomial x minus one, so we'll take it, it as another polynomial g x. So there are two polynomials p x and g x. So this is your dividend, this is your divisor. But you are not to divide them by long division, which you were used to do in your eighth class also. We are not doing like that. We are just using the remainder theorem. So what it says that p of a is the remainder. Now put this g x is equal to zero. This is your first step. Put this linear polynomial equal to zero to get the zero of the polynomial. So, what is the zero of the polynomial? X is equal to one is the zero of g x. This polynomial is a linear polynomial whose degree is one. This is your divisor. This is your dividend. Now, first step we have done is this is your first step. Put g x equal to zero. Now, I am removing this, rubbing this one. This is your first step. After this, by remainder theorem, we'll write by remainder theorem. Remainder is p of a. So what you have got after putting it equal to zero, x is equal to one. So find out p of one. So you are having here x. Now put here that is the uh, solution you are getting is one. So put here one. So find the value. This is this. P of a, that is p of one, will be your remainder. So put here one, one power four plus one cube. This is your second step. Minus two into one square 
plus 1 plus 1. So 1 plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 plus 1. So 2 minus 2, 0. So your answer is 2. So the 2 is the remainder. So when you divide this by the biquadratic polynomial by a linear polynomial, your remainder will be 2. So this is the remainder by the remainder theorem. So it says that when P, uh, Px, a polynomial whose degree is greater than or equal to 1, is divided by a linear polynomial x minus 1. So its degree can be a, a greater than or equal to 1. It can be a linear polynomial also like this one. So a Px is divided by a linear polynomial. Then your remainder is P of A. So how would you get this A? This A will be got by equating gx equal to 0. We will get the 0 of the polynomial. Put here P of A. In place of x, put the 0 of the polynomial in the Px. So you will get the remainder as 2. So this is all about the...